Hey everyone, so today I will be telling you about momentum. So, things that have momentum, anything that is moving has a momentum, okay? So, momentum is a vector and therefore has a size and a direction as well, meaning that sometimes will be positive and other times will be negative. I have here a video which I'll put on the description which is uh, about things that have momentum um, is not going to tell you much more is really more entertaining than anything else so this video is pretty much optional but just so you know anything that moves has momentum okay now how can you increase the momentum of something now again if you saw the video you may have noticed that uh, the guy uh, can get a ping pong ball to go through a bowling um i don't know a bowling uh, lane and is not putting the pins down but when he tries with a bowling ball the pins go down so if you increase the mass you increase the momentum of something if you increase velocity you also increase the momentum of something this is because momentum equals mass times velocity so because mass is in kilograms and velocity is in meters per second, momentum will have the units of kilograms meters per second. So kilograms times meters per second. And in symbols looks like that. So P for momentum equals M for mass times V velocity. Okay. Now, as I told you in the previous slide, momentum is a vector. This means that the direction is important because velocity has a direction, momentum must have an, a direction. That means that going in one direction, you have positive momentum and going in the opposite direction, you're going to have negative momentum. So for example, in here, imagine that I have a ball that hits a wall and then bounces back. In one of the directions, momentum must be negative in here, they decided, I took these pictures from the internet. In here, they decided get, that going left was negative. So momentum is minus MV. And then when the ball bounces back and moves towards the right, momentum is going to be positive MV. Okay. You don't have to put a positive MV, but you definitely need to put a minus sign when it's negative. Okay. So because momentum equals mass times acceleration, let's try a really easy exercise. It says a football has a mass of one kilogram, a free kick gives it a velocity a speed of 20 meters per second. What is the momentum? So again, momentum is mass times velocity. So one times 20, so 20 kilograms meters per second. Let's make it uh, go a step up and make it a little bit more difficult. So I have here four, uh, uh, sorry, three different types of exercises, red, amber, or green. They go harder as we go along, okay? So red are the easiest ones, then is amber, and then is green. So again, try the exercises. Otherwise, uh, wait, because I'm going to be freezing, sorry, I'm going to be giving you the answers. So uh, uh, pause the video, and then I will be showing you the answers, okay? So the momentum of a moving object is, so the answers are coming up now, so is mass times velocity. Then second question, the units of momentum are, the answer would be kilograms meters per second. Question after that, calculate the momentum of a sprinter of mass 50 kilograms running at a velocity of 10 meters per second. So momentum equals mass times velocity, 50 times 10, that gives you 500 and then add the units, kilograms, meters per second. Question after, uh, calculate the momentum of a 40 uh, kilogram person running at 6 meters per second. Again, momentum equals mass times velocity, so 40 times 6, that gives you 240 kilograms, meters per second. Question after. Calculate the momentum of an aerobic player with a mass of 80 kilograms running at a velocity of 5 meters per second. Again, multiply 80 by 5 because momentum is mass times velocity. This is going to give you 400 kilograms meters per second. Question after. A uh, 800 kilogram car moves with the same momentum as the rugby player from the previous exercise. Calculate the velocity of the car. Now, I have a car, uh, something that has a bigger mass but the same momentum. So, if it has a bigger mass, must have a smaller velocity to have the same momentum. So, I want to know the velocity. So, velocity will be momentum over mass. So, that's going to be 400 divided by, was it 800 the mass of the car? 
yeah so that gives me 0.5 meters per second squared and as i uh, uh, we predicted it had to have a smaller velocity to have the same momentum since the mass was larger next question what is the mass of an object moving at 70 meters per second with a momentum of 40 kilograms meters per second so again mass is going so momentum equals mass times velocity so uh, mass is going to be momentum divided by velocity so that's going to be 40 divided by 70 that gives me 0.57 meters per second and finally the very last question a second object has the same momentum but a mass of 4000 grams what is the velocity in si units now because it's in si units that means that i want in meters per second that means that i need to get those 4000 grams into kilograms so getting 4000 grams into kilograms that's going to be four kilograms and then um it has the same momentum so whatever the answer was for the previous exercise so the answer for the previous exercise was not 0.57 meters per second so first i get the 4000 grams into kilograms so that's going to be four kilograms and then to get the velocity i do momentum over mass so 40 over four wait a second uh oh it was the same momentum yes so 40 divided by 4 and that gives me 10 meters per second and that is it that's all you need to know about momentum more videos on momentum will come to do with conservation of momentum and all that stuff but for today knowing about momentum that's all you need to know so up to my next video be happy and healthy bye